Well, now it's been another eventful Monday of Olympic action for Africa's athletes. And joining me now from Johannesburg, South Africa, is our resident sports guru and journalist uh, Mbulelo Tinta to go over all that uh, action. Uh, South African swimming sensation Tatiana Smith. We cannot start with anything else but her gold, Africa's first gold in these Olympic Games. My favorite part is that some people may not know her story. It's that she actually said, I had fallen out of love with swimming. She considered not swimming at all uh, in these Olympics. And Tatiana now is on the brink of uh, emulating, of course, her hero and one of our um, very first gold medalists post-apartheid, of course, Penny Haynes, the only woman to have ever won the 100-meter and 200-meter breaststroke. Tatiana holds the 200 already uh, from Tokyo. She's capable of now of becoming the second woman of all time to win the 100 and 200. Extremely proud of her. Uh, South Africa's first gold. Oh, man, we are going absolutely crazy here in Johannesburg. I'm sure, uh, Mbulelo, it uh, really is magnificent because there was a lot, of, a lot of heart and mouth moments uh, in the swimming. We didn't see Peter Kutzer uh, quite deliver like we hoped, but we uh, certainly are, are uh, I mean, proud as uh, Africans uh, to see uh, in the pool Tatiana doing what uh, we hoped and expected to do. But now talking of South Africa, Alan Hathley has uh, done something which wasn't maybe quite expected, and that was uh, to get a bronze medal in the mountain bike cross country. Absolutely incredible. He's been in red hot form um, on the world racing scene this year. He becomes Africa's very first uh, mountain bike um, cross country uh, medalist ever, by the way. So shout out to him uh, blazing the trail there. The 28 year old from Hillcrest, absolutely sensational. Remember, two seconds off the silver medal, a quite incredible performance um, from the 28 year old. And he is now entering his peak at the age of 28. We can expect him uh, to really be pushing for the gold medal in uh, LA in 2028. Absolutely incredible another bronze of course for africa at large and south africa's uh, first cycling medal since uh, the 1950s in the olympics uh, there's nowhere else to end though with uh, then with uh, nigeria's women's basketball team their first victory in 20 years and what an occasion to do it you know, my favorite thing um, about these human beings that we call Olympians, here's where they're different to us. Some adversity at the beginning, some controversy. Uh, if you didn't see it, Nigeria's women being denied, of course, entrance onto um, their own boat to parade with their team at the beginning. But they said, uh, you know what, that doesn't matter. We've got mental fortitude. We're not just human beings. We are Olympians. We are the peak of performance. They went on as the 12th ranked team in the world to shock the world, the third team in the world, Australia, 75-62. Uh, Ezine Kalu with 19 points there, 17 of those coming in the first half, a quite incredible performance. And those Nigerian women, if you haven't seen the highlights, I urge everybody at home to jump on YouTube and go and see as they went absolutely ballistic at the end, um, representing the, the wonderful country of Nigeria and Africa at large. Incredible, incredible result. And ju just uh, touching on the, the result of uh, yesterday, uh, on of Sunday, it was South Sudan, uh, which caused an upset in the basketball, if we can cast our minds back. So uh, Africa really dominating on the court. Absolutely. I, I think um, South Sudan, of course, the youngest country in Africa, and for them to be at the debut Olympics, uh, they've got an incredibly tough group. Um, we saw them push America to just one point, the great USA team, uh, the dream team, reincarnate, uh, people are saying, to just that one point, LeBron James at the end having to do what he did there. Uh, they've absolutely decimated uh, Puerto Rico on the weekend, and now they will face um, MVP, of course, from the NBA, Nikola Jokic um, and his Serbian team. If they beat them, that is almost a guarantee to go through to the next round, which would be nigh on an absolute miracle. The South Sudanese doing an incredible job. And remember what they've done um, really, really well is that they've taken a former Duke and um, Bulls player, uh, Luol Deng, to be their president. So uh, South Sudan doing the business for Africa. 